Today we're talking about BiasFX2, the guitar processing emulation software, and whether or not it's something you could use, where to purchase it, and is it user friendly? We're gonna talk about that right now. Hey guys, welcome to Truth Guitar Method. My name is Joel. You can call me Joel Son of Caesar. And yes, my dad's name really is Caesar. So Bias Effects 2, what in the world is it? Why am I watching this? Bias Effects 2 is a guitar processing emulation software that goes into your computer or your laptop that you can process all your sounds and effects and amp models within that software, which means you don't have to carry around an amp. You don't have to carry around your effects pedals but is it worth it and is it user friendly? So today we're gonna find out. Let's just get started, man. Here we go. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go and open up a web browser. I have already done that to save some time. And I'm gonna be pitching for two places and that is positivegrid.com and sweetwater.com, which are my two kind of go-tos and favorites. Now, right now, uh, there is a sale at positivegrid.com uh, and uh, where you can get Bias Effects 2. Now there's three versions, that's what you need to know. Uh, Bias Effects 2 Standard, which is originally $99, you can get it for $59. There's Bias Effects 2 Pro, which is $199, but you can get it for $119. And then there's Bias Effects 2 Elite, uh, which is $300, but you can get it for $179 currently at the moment. I have the standard version because I am not a religious user of Bias FX 2, but I did wish I have the Elite version. Now, here's the best part. As I'm recording this video, I had gone to Sweetwater and the prices were originally priced like 10 minutes ago. They literally just up updated this. So, if you don't have all the cash to pay for it at positivegrid.com, you can go to Sweetwater and get them for the exact same price and you can pay for them per month if that's something that you want to do. You can get the Elite version for $179 or $8 a month. I believe they also have a pay it off in three months option. And uh, then there's the standard version, $59 or $3 a month. And then there's the Pro version, $119 or $5 a month. So these are the two places where you can go ahead and go go get them. Now I'm gonna tell you something. When you are looking for this, you are going to have to check whether or not your computer can, um, can um, use Bias Effects 2. Uh, so what you're gonna do is when you go to Bias Effects, I believe you can go down Somewhere on here, let me see if I can get it for you. Uh, software Bias Effects 2, there it is. Scroll down, where are you? Features, specs, here we go. So when you go to the specs portion, you go down, you can check whether or not your computer has the minimal requirements. Guys, this is super important. Um, if you've never used a plugin before, if you want to try this out, you know, it is another option than having an amp, but you have to check if your PC can take it. Because if it doesn't and you purchase it, you cannot return it and the program therefore becomes unusable. Now, if you purchase another computer that can, you have the download available to you. So, um, now if you don't have an amp, you don't have a computer, your next best, best, best option, can't speak today, is this thing right here, which is the Spark Amp. Okay, now Spark Amp is basically the Bias FX program in there. Now, I've never used it. I ordered mine in March, but I haven't gotten mine. You know, thank you, COVID-19. And, uh, and, and it's only 300 bucks for the amp and you use your phone. There's an app that you can use on it. I can't wait to try it out. There's a whole bunch of videos online. Just go ahead and type in Spark Positive Grid and you'll get a whole bunch of reviews on it. Um, I can't wait to try mine out. Mm. Anyway, so let's go to the program. So again, you can get it at Positive Grid or Sweetwater and the prices are pristine right now. So right now is the time to shop. So Bias Effects 2 
Um, I have it here. It's in the application. Now, um, something that you do, you should know is that Bias Effects 2 does work with other uh, programs. Let me go ahead and while the program loads, uh, I'm going to go to Software Bias Effects 2. Uh, it does work with other programs, recording software. Uh, ooh, that's the hiss. That's the hiss. That's the wonderful hiss of my amp. Uh, let's go ahead and go to clean. Let's mute it. There you go. That is the hiss of the amps that I'm using. Um, so when you um, when you go here and you go to the specs, uh, you can check also whether or not it works with the DAW that you use, which is the recording uh, program that you use. I use Ableton Live, and it works pretty pretty well. It also works with Avid Pro Tools, Apple Logic Pro, GarageBand, uh, Kakos, Reaper, I don't know a whole bunch of these. But I had Ableton Live, this is why I purchased this item. It was just a lot easier and to get different sounds that I needed to record by using Bias Effects instead of having to plug in my amp and everything. Now, something that you do need that I have not talked about before you purchase this is you can't just purchase it and then plug in. That's not how it works. You need an interface. And what I'm talking about is a, for example, the one I use is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. It's a two channel interface and uh, it, in my, my opinion, it's the best. So I plug into there and the program, you know, works itself out. I don't know all the computer nerdy stuff, but that's basically what I use. All right, so let's get to the program. So bias effects, when you open it right now, it's on mine. Uh, I'm going to go kind of go ahead through the go through the buttons and it's super user friendly, guys. It's not even it's not even difficult to use. I, I didn't have to kind of, you know, go through everything, um, you know, in the instruction manual or anything like that. Uh, so let's start up here at the top. This is the tone cloud. This is where all the recorded sounds live. There are sounds by famous people. Uh, I was trying out the Tosin Abasi the other day, and when you click on him, it's, it shows you all the sounds that he's created and uploaded that you can use. So you can download it or just check it out. If you hit play, it's automatically re ready to go. Or you can download it and hold it on um, to your stuff. Now these are the featured ones, right? And usually you'll see all the uh, famous people like Marty Friedman on here. And, uh, and then there's your pedal board, which is all the uh, people like myself, the regulars, right? And, uh, and all the different sounds. So you can actually create your own sound and upload it. Now, if you notice, I do want to say something. If you get the standard version, which is what I have, you're going to get a lot of little locks on there. And that is because you cannot use that particular sound because it requires either pro or elite uh, effects or amp models or guitar. Uh, processors, uh, but all the other ones are available to me. So if it doesn't have a little lock, I can go ahead and use it. So, and there's a ton of these, like they just keep going. You can literally sit here for hours and just find the sound that you want. Okay. So that's the tone cloud. Uh, the next thing here, this is where you'll find all the sounds like, let's say you just plug it in. You just want to go get started. Then you click on there and uh, you have all the factory banks, which is you can also save your favorites, right? But you have all the pop dis pop sounds, right? And again, like before, I told you, you're going to find a lot of these little locks. And that's because you need either Pro or Elite to be able to unlock those different sounds. But I'm going to tell you what, man. I've had a lot of fun with the sounds that are here. And uh, if you like messing with pedals and pedal sounds, this is like, I mean, you can get a lot from just the standard version. Uh, then there's Blues rock sounds, metal sounds, insane, alternative, bass, and the acoustic. Now the acoustic one actually sounds pretty legit. Uh, I recorded a song uh, called Sticky Booger, uh, and it's right here, Sticky Booger Solo, and I use this particular um, sound here. And uh, here's, the, uh, here's the pedal board. And um, I actually, um, when I was using this, I needed to record an acoustic sound. And so I went to the acoustic modeler because the acoustic that I have, for some reason, wasn't recording or it was picking up some weird sound. And I used the one that was on here and it was like, I can't, I can't even tell the difference. Um, okay, so um, again, you'll hear the hiss. It's amazing. And uh, the gates do really work. Sounds gone. 
I mean, it's like you have it's like you have your amp with you, man. All right, so that's basically what that is. Now, if to do all the saving and all the stuff, that's that button right there. If you want to go straight to the store, which where we were, you can go straight to there and it'll take you to positivegrid.com. And it's kind of through the app, through the program itself. Okay. Um, then you have your tap button. Let's say you have a delay uh, or you want uh, your, beats per your beats per meter. Um, this is where you would tap it or you can just enter it yourself. Here you have your created pedal board. So whenever you want to see what pedals you're working with, like this is my sticky booger pedal board. This is what it would look like. Uh, this is the, the head that I'm using and these are the, you know, the pedals that I'm, that I'm using. Uh, right next to that, you have your tuner. Now I have noticed it is super sensitive. So I do turn it on kind of as a uh, reference, but I still use my my pedal tuner or I use the clip-on tuner, the the snark tuner, I believe that it's called, that's what it's called. Now I just started playing with this um, maybe a day or two ago and I didn't actually get to record because I had to go do something in adult, but I'm planning on playing with it. But it's a looper basically and it is straightforward, man. Like hit record and you record your, what you're playing. It gives you, you know, four measures all, all the way up to 16 or free how many counts, right? How many clicks before the, before it starts so that you can record. This is something I'm looking forward to. Now, then you have your settings. Something I do want to talk about is when you guys download uh, the Bias Effects 2, uh, you might experience some latency issues. If you don't know what latency is, it means that it, you, when you play, the sound is not going to match. It's going to be like late, like a lag. Okay. And so where you would fix that is here in the audio settings. And so um, there's videos online that you can use. If you're interested in me walking you through that, let me know in the comments below. But basically where it gets fixed is down here in the audio buffer size. Once you fix that, and then once you play, it it, it fixes itself and, and it's there's no latency at all. Um, and, you know, there's a whole bunch of different options there. Okay, and then, um, so here's what you have, right? Now down here at the bottom, you have your input volume. That's basically the sound volume that the guitar is sending into the program. And then the output volume is the sound that it is putting out. So I have mine set to zero. I don't really like to clip too, too much. Um, but um, if I were to play my guitar, which my guitar is kind of over here at the moment, but if I play it, well, volume is down. You can see that it's working there. If I turn uh, it from mute, there it is. And there's a hum and there's a hiss. It feels real. It feels like you're there. Now, one of the best features, this is probably the last thing I'm going to talk about, is the guitar matching technology. Um, unfortunately, I have the standard version. So the standard version only gives me four additional guitars. Now, I have a modern type uh, PRS uh, guitar. Uh, but let's say I wanted it to sound like a Les Paul Gold Top reissue guitar. Then um, you go on there, you click OK, and you'll notice that the little guitar lit up. Which now, if I play, it emulates the sound of a Les Paul electric. Yeah, and it sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound too, too bad. Now, uh, the part that sucks is that I only have four choices. I've got the vintage um, uh, S-type guitar and the signature S-type guitar, but there's more. Uh, there are tons of them. There's Telecasters, there's all kinds of stuff, uh, uh, S-types, uh, Jazzmasters. There's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of different guitars that you can, you can try out. Um, I have not played with that too much, but it is a very cool option if you like a certain type of guitar. Uh, now the quick snap here, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what that is yet. I'm a brand new user, but I will be playing with it some more and then hopefully another video will be coming. But this is basically Bias Effects 2, guys. Um, it is super user friendly. It's not hard to use at all. Um, and uh, again, super neat, okay? Now, here's the best part, uh, bonus part that I just kind of want to talk about. I use Ableton Live. So when I use Ableton Live, I don't actually have to open the app, right? So I'm going to talk this talk about this just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go to 
my Ableton Live and um, I'm gonna go ahead and open and when you're there what it does is it downloads the plugin the VST and stores it in a folder that you pick that you select or the one that it goes with and so when you go to um, you know to want to use a sound from bias effects 2 while you're recording you wouldn't actually open up the app or the program you would go into Ableton um, live and and go from there so uh, Ableton live 10 uh, I have the Ableton live 10 intro and while it loads here uh, this is something that I that I was working on okay this is this is the sound anyway so when you go in here to the VST right you go you're gonna go into plugins which is right there and you go into VST VST plugins and you'll find bias effects 2 so when you click on bias effects 2 you add it onto your audio file that you're gonna want to record from which is I believe this one and uh, once you put it in there um, the app will pop out and you'll work from there rather than have to open it. I didn't get that at the very beginning. I was opening the app and then going in here, it wasn't working. And then so I fixed the whole folder problem issue. But if you're having issues with that, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you as best as possible and tell you how I figured it out. But guys, this is basically um, Bias Effects 2. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll try to help you as best as possible, man. Okay. Um, again, it helps if you guys subscribe, share the video, like, comment what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, so maybe something that I didn't cover from the programmers that you have a question, let me know. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.